Sir San Bernardino County Museum. And there's a choo-choo train. Cool. The skull of a horse. Horse jaw of a bison. Tusk of a mastodon. He needs a crown. <laughs> it's a short faced bear. Camel. Camel toe. Don't oh, stop giggling. This is a, a replica of the size of the real pygmy horse, the first horse, and that's my hand. Look how little that guy was. Cool, huh? Looks like Snuffy Snuffle Up, I guess. Hey, bird. It's a Dicenodont, about the size of our dogs. Isn't he cute? Mommy, he followed me home. Can I keep him? These guys are from the Cretaceous period. These guys are horses. Aha, he's down there. And these wolf type guys are looking for lunch. They could jump on him. It would take a long time to gnaw through that guy. Flickers. Roadrunner. Oh, it's a roadrunner. I miss hearing the Midwestern Robin. That's an offspring. Look at these guys. They're the cardinal, that red one. Look at that tiny little birdie. Barn swallow, the one with the pointy tail. There's a kestrel. These are pheasants. So many ones. Asks for pheasant under glass. They're like chicken. It tastes like farm raised chicken. That's a chickadee. Over there. 
Oh, I didn't see a birdie hanging there. What you looking at? This guy's California condor. Wingspan six foot. They're nearly extinct. Rattlesnakes. They have big wide heads. So if I see a snake with a flat wide head, you go elsewhere. <laughs> California king snake. Isn't he pretty? Ah, there are pictures of days gone by in San Bernardino County. Native Americans, indigenous, I don't know what name is politically correct. And some cars! Hydroelectricity, electricity. One of the first telephones. There's more stuff down here. Holy cow. You may know someone that looks like this guy. Or this guy. Or this happy woman. Or this guy. Or even that guy. It's a cart. Like an ox cart. A pretend chicken in there. That wooden thing is called an ox yoke. Y-O-K-E. And they put them around the oxes and they tie that ring has a chain. It's tied to the cart. And they can pull apart. And that thing there, covered wagon, is called a Conestoga wagon or a desert schooner or the early version of an RV, really. There's a horse saddle. a buggy. Pretty nice one actually. Fire department uh, wagon. And a truck. Yes, a very prude woman of that time period would wear this very would be terribly hot in California weather. Some hats. Is that a water bag? I don't know what that is. Some lights, carriage lights. Fifty Keen Arena, huh? Horseless carriage. That's a nifty one there. Here's a Chevy. 1955 Chevrolet. What is it, a Bel Air? Yep. A Bel Air. We had a 55 Bel Air. Same color, but was not a convertible. We had one briefly when I was a kid. Wow. Well, those are the kind you could open up the hood and fix it. <laughs> you didn't have to go through resetting this, that, or the other thing, or computerize anything. Oh. Down there, down in here on each side, was a little door you could open and let the heat or the air come from the, the wheel well down here. See? and you could open it up and air would come flying through. And then these windows here, little vent windows, it could be raining or whatever and the whole car would be closed up, but if you open those, the window didn't fog up. That is almost like canvas and they would 
put wax on it, it'd oil it up, and that'd be your raincoat. Here's your head cover. Well, that's a modern version, but it looked like that. And look at these pointy cockroach killers. You get in the corner and squish your cockroach with those toes. Oh my god, that would hurt your feet. And this thing that looks like a bomb, instead of barricades with flashing yellow lights, this is what they used to have in a long time ago. They'd fill this with the kerosene and they'd light the wick up here and it would it'd be lit up along the road so you knew they were working on the road. It was about mining. Mining cars, mining equipment, the things that would uh, pump air down into the shaft. Pretty cool, huh? And then over here, the locomotive. I don't know what that little cylinder is with the door in it. Maybe a signal man would hide in there or something. I don't know. Perhaps a sign will tell me. I don't know. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga. That's a caboose. Woo woo. I'm going to look at the sign and see what this, uh, what that is. It says, there's two types of dollies used to unload and unload the train outside the train here, and a car for carrying luggage. There's also a cement telegraph booth that was powered by the train tracks it sat next to, and a transformer that powered the crossing signals to notify pedestrians of approaching trains. Cool. Going for speed. That's why. <laughs> oh, go! All right, All right. And that's Highway 10. That's west. And that's back towards where we live. It's a very busy highway. All of them are around here. So that was our trip to the San Bernardino County Museum. I think it's about 11 or 12 or 13 dollars I Brian paid for us and uh, really nice museum very well organized many bathrooms many drinking fountain areas they had a lot of hand sanitizer stations they had all kinds of neat things in there things from days gone by different uh, minerals and what they make from minerals, uh, bor borax, uh, calcite, jasper, different stones and minerals and things, things to do with earth and panacea, which was the theory that all the continents were together as one and then split apart and that the earth is constantly moving. There is a fault line, San Andreas Fault, that runs kind of through this area. And they say that two inches a year, on one side, the American plate is moving north, and the Pacific plate, which I think we are part of, is moving south. Two inches per year. So, you know, when things move and it's hard moving, then earthquakes will happen. Uh, hasn't been a really big one here in this area since 1989. And uh, it's a really awesome museum. And it's definitely worth your while if you are in the... Well, let's see, I guess this is... We're about an hour west, hour east of Los Angeles. So if you are in the area, San Bernardino, it is definitely worth your while this museum it's just beautiful it's wonderful uh, definitely worth your while can't say high high enough praises about it there's more things that I didn't even tell you about you'll just have to find out for yourself won't you upward and onward <laughs>